Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. On Wednesdays on The Daily English Show, we study from a mistake. And today we're looking at a blog entry from this site. I'm still not sure how you're supposed to say the name of that site. I usually call it Lang8. Anyway, here's the blog entry. I had a strange dream last night. I'm not married, but I was pregnant with twins. I was very happy, but the twin's father was unknown person. What was the dream's mean? So the first three sentences are perfect, and I would correct the last two. I would change this to, but I didn't know who the father was. And I would correct this as well. Mean is a verb, and the noun is meaning. So you can't say, what was the dream's mean? You can say, what was the dream's meaning? But that sounds a bit unnatural to me. I would probably say, what did the dream mean? Or, what was the meaning of the dream? The site I recommend today is called the Internet Anagram Server. This is a fun site to play with words. Do you know what an anagram is? An anagram is a word or phrase that is made by arranging the letters of another word or phrase in a different order. For example, if you rearrange the letters in this name, Elvis, you can make this word, lives. And on the site you can enter a word or a phrase and it will automatically give you a list of anagrams. So why don't you go and play with it, try putting in your name and see what it comes up with. I put in the Daily Englisher and it gave me 52,632 results. Here are a few of the results from the first 1,000. None of them make much sense. A Ed lesson, highly with. A Ed towel, highly shins. A Ed scent, high owlishly. A hedge sh noisily wilt. A Ed thinly his howls. A Ed lightens, high shy owl. Kia ora, in stick news today, an electronic teen repellent has been installed in a park in Tokyo in an attempt to curb vandalism. Over the past few years, Kitashikahama Park has suffered from repeated acts of vandalism. People living near the park have also complained about noises late at night, such as loud voices and fireworks. A park management official said damage done by youngsters last year cost about 700,000 yen. So they decided to rent an electronic noisemaker called the Mosquito MK4 Anti-Vandal System. The device generates a harmless but irritating sound that teenagers can hear but most adults can't. It was installed in the park on the 21st of May and operates from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 27th of May. Kia ora. Today's word is sod. The other day I went to the hospital and while I was sitting in the waiting room I saw a magazine called sod which stood for Japan Superoxide Dismutase Research Organization. And I thought it was kind of funny because I'd never heard of superoxide dismutase, if that's how you say it. But I know another meaning of the word sod. Sod, vulgar slang, chiefly British. An unpleasant person. For example, you stupid sod. No, what happened? And they kept it. Where did they go? Would you keep the money? Did you hear about that couple in New Zealand who got $10 million from the bank and then just left the country? The guy applied for an overdraft for $10,000, I think it was. But someone at the bank made a mistake and accidentally gave them $10 million. 
Yeah, they took the money and left the country. I think they went to Hong Kong. No way. You can relax and enjoy the money anyway, you'd have to keep running. Which phrase is an anagram of Clint Eastwood? A. He bugs gore. B. I am a weakish speller. C. I'm a dot in place. D. Old West action. E. 12 plus 1. Old West action. George Bush. He bugs gore. William Shakespeare. I am a weakish speller. A decimal point. I'm a dot in place. 11 plus 2. 12 plus 1. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.